Welcome back one all to more of the Pokemon Y Nuzlocke. Last time we failed to catch the Snorlax because goddammit why. And now we're on Route 7. You think it's point Route 7 here? Oh hey G. Travis said he wants to check out the Pokemon Daycare. Come with us. This is the Pokemon Daycare. To take care of Pokemon for you here. Yes indeed, you can leave the two Pokemon here at once. I seem to remember something good can happen if you leave two Pokemon here. That's right, sometimes you'll find a new addition, like an egg. If you carry an egg around, the Pokemon will emerge from it. Well, a Pokemon will come out. Maybe I'll leave some Pokemon here. Having the same Pokemon with the same moves might step up my dance might step my dance up. How about you, D? There aren't many Pokemon I want to raise. I'll try it on some other occasion. That's one way to look at it. Well, I'm going to I'm going to look for some Pokemon for my dance team. Wait up, Shirano, wait up! I read this line twice. Uh, talk about eggs. I think I get a free egg somewhere and just can't forget where it is. Is it from you? No, not definitely not from you. Done sparse. I haven't had a Dunsparce, I kind of don't want to catch a Dunsparce. I hit it battling as a traveling trainer. Should provide me with just the inspiration I need. Let's see. Artist Georgia. Artists always seem to have Swindle on them, which is kind of cool. That makes them really easy to protect. Venomoss is not only getting this time to shine in the spotlight. <laughs> Dear God! I think that was Brick Brick. Good job, Nala. Good job, Espy, leveling up. Light screen. Should be good to replace that other light screen. Going for now. Excellent. Thanks. Thanks. This been ages since I worked up a good sweat like this from a former Pokemon battle. the grass too much right now. You there, you're the perfect model for our next painting. Show us a magnificent display of battle to get us get this painting started. I get it, you wanna fight to get inspired after I kick your ass. Double spear all time! Fine with it. Yeah, if that's just that, it would have been worse. And just be for the kill. Doing good here. 
Yeah, no, this is gonna be our best work yet. I never forget our battle together. Dark, do you know about this building? It's called the Battle Chateau. It's famous for being a place where trainers gather to improve their skills. If you learn even more about if you want if I learn even more about Pokemon, I'm sure I'll be able to, to defeat Gallus' eight gym leaders. Basically the Battle Chateau is a place you can go to to have daily battles against opponents to grind up and level up Pokemon and get some money. I would get into it, but I kinda don't want to do it on this playthrough. I play campus before me and yet no inspiration for much to paint. Basically, it'll get us prior to you to fight somebody, huh? That ah, cute little look on this piece of face. I don't use layers of anything if you have Be any secrets, my dude. Losing is very inspiring. If you don't mind, I'd like to have a Pokemon battle with everyone. Now, how should we pair up? Hmm. Let's go. Trevor and Trino against me and D. Okay, D. Since we're neighbors, we might as well battle together, right? Random double battle! Oh, you have a Pikachu, you asshole! I wanted a Pikachu. Fortunately, the game won't let me have one. Is that a flashlight? I forget I'm over leveled. I normally by this point, even for level 20, you should be. I forget I'm over leveled for, for this game. Attacking Corfish. Okay, why are we getting so many crits today? It's like my third one per battle. Jesus. Because at this point, freaking quick attack might be a signature move. on my opponent than me, just the better on me. Oh, 
but only six thousand. You guys are cheap. I'm sure it, it sure is interesting to see how different each trainer's style is. Uh, well, I guess we should be headed to Ambra Town then. And if we catch a Pokemon in skin round round seven, this is Thrive for a special event. I already have a full baby, so it doesn't count. The bitch claws and all that. Probably use one of my potions. I don't want to run all the way back to town. Okay. Second. Worse. Ah, oh, Volbeat. <clears throat> not the biggest fan of Volbeat, are we, Lumise? We're okay, just not great. If I have to eliminate any other special attacking bug, I choose. Honestly, I probably should get a match. I think it's my favorite special attacking bug. I'm quite sure if I have an electric bug type, but I love electric type Pokemon. Which makes why there's not one in my party, even sadder. Fight, but now confusion, I'll play with that stuff. Okay, that's, that's one. Oh, Krogum! <laughs> I said that all happy, didn't I? Fine, it's this patient too. That's a pretty neat. That's a pretty neat ability. He wanted to say skill, even though that's not right. Just avoiding my attacks, aren't you? Okay, hit it with something. Yes, Krogunk is mine! And Penny level up. Good for him. Krogunk, the toxic mouth Pokemon. Inflating its poison sacks, it fills the area with an odd sound and hits up and flinch, flinching opponents with a poison jab. Okay, hear me out here. Toxica. I don't remember what Power Ranger season, but I swear it's from a Power Ranger season. And I really do... Like, you don't realize how much you love a mechanic until it's gone. Anyway, I have to go to the PC box real quick. I'll be right back. Hello and welcome back. So, I found the, so that I was at the PC box sticker and I had a wonderful idea. So Toxica isn't really too great right now. She doesn't have a great move since so all level 14. I'm gonna leave her to daycare. I'm gonna leave her with somebody else. And you will be with her in the daycare. Now I don't know if those two are the same breeding compatibility. I don't think they are. So I just want to leave them there so they can get a bit stronger without me. In the meantime. Freak Buggin can come back to the party, but her slots have been taken by SB, so Buggin will stay there. 
I would put Skiddo or Bulbasaur, but still I would come across the same issue of having a grass type lead and then two grass types. So my party conversation is the best thing in the world, it's okay. As I'm out, I'm going to a cave soon, so that means one thing. Zubat Man. Connecting cave. Also, this is Zubat Roost. Have you raised your Pokemon? Let's have, a, have you raised your Pokemon? Let's have a battle and I'll let you know. I forgot which was the right entrance into this cave, so I'm just gonna try this one out, see where it leads me. Fighting Mercy. Does that mean her Pokemon never die? Are Overwatch memes still a thing? I keep hearing mixed things at Overwatch, even though I do have the game kind of floating like forever. Like, to basically explain how long it's been since I played Overwatch. I haven't played Overwatch since Doomfist was introduced as a playable character. Yes, that long ago. I'm like two characters behind and now one's a hamster and a wreck well now one's a hamster. It was honestly probably one of the more interesting characters I've seen out of Overwatch in some time. Which is weird to say. I think I don't hate Overwatch, because I don't have much of a reason to play it outside of I like Diva and I like how the characters play. But in the newer games, too, I don't like, don't want to play an FPS, but I just want to play this, a JRPG. And the answer always is JRPG. Like, at the time of recording, Octopath Travelers come out. I, have, I don't have it yet. My copy's in the mail. It's on the way. Should be here in a few days. If not tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow. But I've been playing a demo of that for a good minute, and I honestly do love it. I'm just like the main thing I love about JRPGs is the story, and everything I've seen about the game and everything I've heard about the game. It says the story's pretty lackluster, but the combat's great. So I'm basically getting it for the inverse of what I get in most RPGs, for which I'm used to the combat, I'm getting for the story. In this case, I'm getting the game for the combat, not the story. Which makes me feel weird as a fan of JRPGs who practice stuff on loving the game's story over the caring about the game's gameplay. I don't get me wrong, if the game's pure gameplay, then it's basically a Mario game, and I love Mario games. Mario Odyssey's freaking amazing. And if I were good at that game, I might do a let's play of it. I'm say I'm mad at it, but I don't expect me to do a 100% run of Mario Odyssey anytime soon. Maybe a standard story mode and then a few more moons let's play. That's all I can do with that game. If you want to get to Amber Town, you need to head back to Route 7, then take the other cave entrance. Uh, okay, so this is the one... This is the part that's blocked by the strength puzzle. And I don't have strength yet. Because HMs, because HM, or TMs are... Yeah, HMs are still a thing in this generation. As much as they should not be. Well, I mean, it's grass, I'm pretty sure there's a berry bush up here. Oh dear, it's a hopper for I know Jay was be happy. Do I have any multi-striking attacks that aren't magical later? <laughs> hey, it's a Rosalia! I don't think I do love Rosalia as a Pokemon. It's pretty cool. So, that's a, that's a, a grass poison type, but I don't think it got really good until it's evolution and Gen Gen 5. I mean Gen 4. 
And I like how Gen 4 got an evolution and a pre-evolution. Like, that, that was always what it was meant to have in the game, but they forgot to put it in Gen 3. So yeah, Rose Red's a pretty cool Pokemon. Rosalia is cool by comparison. I didn't think much of it in Gen 3 because, you know, Grass Poison. Then Rose Red came out and it was one of my best things in my Gen 4 team. I'm like, yes! Oh, yes, Fire Fang. Yes, please, sir. I mean, ma'am, you're a woman. Yes, as we learn Psybeam and replace Light Screen. We should have gotten rid of Lear, damn it. Everyone gets a little stronger. Another program. Okay. Being a poison fighting type, psychic types are like your literal perfect knight. Like the worst matchup in the world. Sending out a match carp against Lucina Surge. How about I help your dear Pokemon rest up a bit? No, I heard someone make a joke once that despite this place being called a Zubat route, it's actually hard to find a Zubat here. It does actually a pretty low encounter rate despite this being called the Zubat Roost. Turn with Wisma. I don't want a Zubat. Zubat. Okay, that was interesting. I forgot that that form made that sound is just But that's one. Now let's go back to the heal scientist here. Best are hard to find in this cave, it's mostly Wismers. Oh, crud. Oh dear god, no! That is too close, too close, too close. Bug come out. This ball. Oh no. Caves of Pokemon. I never even gonna look at caves in these games, like at all. Okay. Okay, we caught a Wisma. 
Whismer, the Whisper Pokemon. If it senses danger, it scares the foe by crying out with the volume of a jet plane engine. Dear God, that is loud. Let me, let me the Whismer. Well, it's not clever at all. I don't care. I'm probably never gonna use Wemmy. If I do use Remy, it means that someone killed a lot of Pokemon on my team. Ah, oh, Route 8. Stop right there! Hey, it's you two again. Haha! Uh -huh. We did we didn't mean to surprise you. How are you and Esper doing? Haven't you wondered how a single Pokedex could possibly cover a region as large as big as Kalos? Well, it can't. That's why we are here to power up your Pokedex. The coastal Pokedex will be on your Pokedex menu, so tap it to select it. New encounters help people and Pokemon may grow and mature. We'll be taking our leave now, Buen Voyage. Bye! Thanks for the upgrade. That was kind of an obvious spot to hide an item. That was that was a neat that wasn't even hard, game. Come on, you gotta try harder than that. I can't you see the town down there, how we have to get there. No, there's a right path and a wrong path to get to the item. HP up. Counter for this new part of the region. Oh, Sviper! Neat! I don't want to catch a Sviper. Okay, you giant snakes, look at my small cat! Man, that could be taking so long if you replace certain words. Dream big is what I'd say. They're looking at the future champion after all. Bring it on! I like your pluck. Oh, an Axie. That's right, you can find Axie in that cave. I just don't want to stay there because of all the freaking Wismer. It's like that one cave in Gen 3 all over again, but worse. Stop using insurance. So I gotta make this hard on you. What the? F mm. Stupid dragon typing. Do it. Raise the leaf again. I don't care how not effective it is. I will kill you with leaves. Good job, SP. Well, what? Perhaps the future champion stuff's just all a dream in the end. Never give up on your dreams. Until someone steps in the way and says no. Another strength puzzle I can't deal with right now. Oh, Splink. That's uh, number two. Oh dear. That's number three now. I find it. Ah, oh, that's not what I was looking for, but I'll take an Absol any day of the week. No! No! 
No, Absol, why? Why did you do that? Why? She was so young. She has so much to look forward to. Evolving into a meow stick. I wanted a meow stick on the team, Absol. Why did you do that? You didn't need to use Pursuit. You didn't need to. Tears for the fallen. Let's think of the future. Uh, I still feel like crap. Doing so good up till now. On a single death, an asshole comes out of here nowhere and kills. kills Espy. I feel like crap again. Can't even catch Absol. Gonna catch Absol. He needs to work off his debt. The debt it made when it killed Espy. This is one of my great faults. Great, I say sarcastically. Uh, I don't feel like reading this, but Absol, the disaster Pokemon. It appears when it senses an impending natural disaster. As a result, it is mistaken as a doom bringer. Most well, certainly brought doom here. That should be her name, Doom. For Doom killed my beloved cat! Uh, I feel like crap now. We carry her corpse around with us for a while so we get to a Pokemon Center. Get her out of here. Stupid dead body. And on that note, now we'll end the episode. Till then, everybody.